Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm in the uh, second video now of a series of seven on a broken screw retrieval case. Uh, this case was referred to me by a uh, dentist out of uh, Miami. So now I'm going to go ahead and just try to use an inverted cone. Uh, I've used several of them and this one I think we're, we went from a 33 and a half up to a 34 and possibly even a 35 and just trying to torque in a in a counter-rotational uh, movement um, obviously it's not working and uh, you know you have to think well what's the easiest way to approach a case like this without traumatizing anything so now I'm remeasuring and actually I'm going to use an ultrasonic and I'm going to touch a periodontal probe with the ultrasonic using some water and see if I can stimulate any movement in the broken screw and see if I can get it to, to uh, come loose. So I'm agitating right now using the ultrasonics. The ultrasonic that I'm using is from a Cabo uh, Sonaflex. Um, it also has a fiber optic on it so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm, I'm moving the periodontal probe and I'm using the ultrasonic at the same time. And I believe there's going to be a point where I'm going to go directly with the ultrasonics uh, later on. Uh, not in this video, I think in the next video. I'm just drying off the area. And I'm going to use high magnification to see if there's any movement and it doesn't look visually like I have any at this point. Um, testing again with, uh, that's either a periodontal probe or it's an endodontic explorer. I'll try to have both of them. Here I go again, I'm gonna go ahead and, and make an attempt to use the ultrasonics again. Again, the patient's not feeling any pain whatsoever. Um, no discomfort. Uh, throughout the entire process. So I'm turning in a counterclockwise rotation as I'm using and touching with the ultrasonics. Sometimes you get lucky and you're able to, to get it out with a ratchet uh, using a burr at the end. I'd like to see um, reverse uh, made or I want to say burrs that are made in a reverse mode. In other words, the cutting motion will be in a counterclockwise rotation. That would help remove um, some of these screws. Um, screw removal kits exist out there. I'm not sure if um, they would fit this system. Um, they're very expensive and, and pretty much the the cost that would be passed on to um, to the patients. I, I preferred not to to purchase any of those kits that are on the market right right now without any good research and 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 referrals uh, from other cases uh, that were successfully removed. So maybe a good place to go on and to look at uh, some of the reports would be uh, Osseo News. Uh, that's a good source and um, and I'm open to hear uh, if anyone has um, any advice uh, I'm always open to comments as um, I try to put up as many of these films and documentations as I can this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo I will see you on the next clip of a third of seven coming up where we'll drill a pilot hole through take care